Well, a Georgia nonprofit bursting at the seams with donations tonight. They're actually having to turn some donations away simply because their building is too <laughs> small. But the need in the community is still growing by the week. Atlanta News first reporter Sawyer Bussey has the story. The organization, a continuation of a grandmother's legacy. She would feed the um, neighborhood children when we were younger. The building itself. Phase two of sucking it in. The organization has outgrown. So how do you get to like an elderberry back there? We have small people. Well, I certainly can't get in those tight spaces. Feeding Georgia families does it all. They help families in need with food, clothes, books, renter's assistance, housing resources, pet supplies, and more. Every bit of space we've got, we're trying to use. Thousands of Georgians in need come through these doors every week. If they're too embarrassed to ask for help, they can pick up groceries for free out front. Crews here say they've seen the need for their services grow by the week. And as some COVID relief programs expire, increase period across the board between January to June of this year. The problem is space. There is not enough of it here. Freezer's full as well. Next fridge, same story. Boxes are lined up down the hallway. Donations piled high in rooms, more boxes stacked up, ready to go out to families in need. Small corners have turned into storage closets. All of these donations will be completely gone and replaced with more in about a week. People shouldn't have to think like this. Do I want lights or do I want food? But for a lot of people, it is. So we try to alleviate that pressure. Right now, some large donations have to be turned away. Not because there isn't a need, but because there is no room. Feeding Georgia families believes more space will allow them to serve the growing need in the Atlanta community at a time when families desperately need help. We work with what, what we have. We come from it from a standpoint of gratitude first, and then we work towards our goals. Sawyer Bussey, Atlanta News First.